Why don't you give me a sign? This is Corinna Jane. That leaves a trail along that shore. It's not your problem, it's mine. With her brand new single, Give Me a Sign. As featured on BBC Introducing. It's just the way it's gotta be. Corinna Jane, give me a sign. Out now. I need to tell you something. I'm leaving you and your mother. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica, and welcome to the fan carpet. So, um, it was wonderful to speak to you today. Um, so too. if we go back to the beginning, uh, was there a defining, a defining moment for you to get into the film industry? Oh, wow. Um, I guess I was obsessed with films growing up, so I used to just watch them obsessively, like, over and over again. So I've always kind of loved films. Um, I got to the age of about 16 and discovered Mike Lee, and just was like, he was like making films about people that I felt like I could relate to more or that, um, yeah, his, his films spoke to me. And then I guess it was going to RADA um, and getting an agent. Mm -hmm. And then you have a doorway into the world because I think without that, then I definitely would still be up in Coventry doing God knows what. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, so um, so what was it about I'm Not In Love that enticed you to get involved to bring Lena to, the, to life? Uh, I guess I just love the script and I love the part. She is a very headstrong, confident kind of a person. Um, I think she says a lot of what the audience wish that they could say to Rob. So the way that she talks to Rob, um, she isn't scared about speaking the truth. Um, and yeah, so I, and like Al, uh, the guy who plays Rob, I've known Al for years. And I uh, looked into Carl as well. And I thought that it would be a great project to be a part of. Wonderful. Um, so how do you relate to Lena? Hmm. How do I relate to her? I guess, well, I guess, um, like the way that she supports her friend within this situation, you know, she loves her so much and she doesn't want her wasting time. I guess I'd love to think that I would have the courage to say the kind of things that she says to Marta. Um, she wants the best for her friend and, and like she doesn't want her to waste her time on a guy who doesn't feel the same way. I'd love to think that I would be able to see that in, in, in like one of my friend's partners. Having said that, I wouldn't also want to be that person to meddle because, mm. you know, um, you know, but I like to think that I'm pretty headstrong and strong-willed as well. So I guess I can relate in that way. That's awesome, that's awesome. Um, so um, do you have any memories from filming that will stick with you for the rest of your career? Um, I guess it was, I guess it was most of it really because working with Al, I mean, I've been friends with him for so long and then finally actually getting to work together was, um, was brilliant. I, 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 I'm like getting to improvise like together as well. Like there were certain scenes like where we ran off script and that's just always fun when you can have the freedom to do that. Um, I think playing the part of Lena will stay with me because I think it is such a, like a brilliantly written part. Um, so I think that will stay uh, stay with me definitely that's awesome it's it's great to hear that you've all had fun especially when when you consider that it's like a just over a two-week shoot you have to enjoy yourself and and like being around the people 
that you're with yeah. on a day-to-day basis. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Plus, because it, you know, like a project like this is very much a passion project. So everybody is doing it because they love the script and they want to be a part of it. And, you know, like Al, you know, like he got to work with a lot of his friends. And I think that's one of the things about it. how brilliant is it just to get to work with your friends and have a laugh and make a great film, <laughs> mm, absolutely. you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so, are, are there any genres that you haven't done yet that you'd like to? Oh, gosh, so much, I think. I mean, like sci-fi, um, you, you know, like something really out there or like um, like a superhero film. I mean, like, I don't know what part like, I would play, but I'd love to do something so, like, different to what I would normally do. Um, what else? Yeah, yeah, maybe just like sci-fi and something really out there, like set in space or something, or just something really different. I know Al's working on one at the moment. Is he? What's he doing? He's working on a sci-fi at the moment. He was just telling me in the interview before this one. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure, wasn't he working? I'm sure he was working on a sci-fi like two years ago. Yeah, it might be the same one, I'm not sure. Films it might be a, a different time. one, like maybe it's his new thing. Maybe, who knows. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, um, so are there any other aspects of the film industry that you'd like to pursue? Yeah, I would like to write. Well, I, you know, like I've written a couple of short films, but I think most actors have. Mm. I'm just I'm just uh like I almost need like a writing partner to bounce off um but I would love you know to make my own films you know like that is a dream um and yeah yeah so I would like to get into that wonderful well so sorry that's you know so if it's not too long we yeah. can do that. So um, you're credited with, with short films as well as TV series and feature films. Um, do you tackle them differently? No. No, no. I think it's sort of like, a, like it's the same. Like each project you do, you kind of go in with a new like outlook. So it actually depends on the people like, that you're working with. Because I think as actors, there's only so much work we can do like just on our own or like before the project itself. So when you turn up to set, you know, like that's kind of when the work starts because it all depends on what the other actor is doing and what the camera guy wants. And I kind of leave it um, spontaneous, I think. And so whether it's a short film or a film I call TV, I just tend to come from the same place. Um, you know, because you have got different, you know, like high budget films. Um, it kind of depends on the level of, yeah, like budget too, because you can go on to a massive project and feel really insecure and overwhelmed by a lot of the stuff uh, that actually doesn't matter to you. And then you can rock up to like a low budget indie film and just feel actually much more, it's a much more collaborative experience actually because everyone's kind of in it together. So I guess I've had better experiences on indie films because they just feel more collaborative and more creative. And you're just not as nervous. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So um, in these unprecedented times, um, what are you looking forward to getting back to? Well, I'm filming a TV series in the summer, so I'm looking forward to getting back on set and just being with lots of other brilliant people, like I just being around that energy, I guess I've missed the energy and and the camaraderie and the, you know, sort of, and 
um, like and like the collaboration, like I've missed that side of it. Um, you know, because there's only so much that you can like audition for stuff mm. and send in a tape, uh, but you're not actually acting with anyone else. It's just you. And the joy of what I do is that you get to act with other people. So I just can't wait to do that. Cool. Um, are you allowed to say anything about the TV series or is it hush hush at the moment? I don't know. I don't know, but it, we, uh, we filmed the pilot last year, just before lockdown, and Channel 4 are making it into a TV series. So that's exciting. Maybe I should leave it there. Mm -hmm. yeah, just in I, case. Yeah, I don't want to get you into trouble, just in case. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so who inspires you in the, in the industry? Oh, wow. Who inspires me? So many people. Um, people like that get up and make their own work. So people, I guess like Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Um, people, yeah, she inspires me hugely just because of what she's achieved and where it's come from mm -hmm. and her, her generosity. Um, her creativity, her brilliance, you know. Um, oh God, that's, yeah, yeah, that's a hard, a hard question. Um, but she's uh, fantastic. Yeah, I mean, she's amazing. Like, where, um, just her writing and, um, yeah, and Fleabag and, yeah, so she is, She's an inspiration, definitely. Awesome. Yeah. Um, 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 so is there a book that you're a fan of that hasn't been adapted to film or TV or Netflix yet that you'd love to be a part of? That's, there's a book by Elena Ferrante called Days of Abandonment which I read a while ago, and it's weird that you asked me that question because I literally just picked it up and was reminded of it again. And it would make an amazing film. It's about a woman who is left by her husband, but it's really claustrophobic, or the book is, because you're inside her head and she's in her flat. And I just think it would make an amazing film. Yeah, Days of Abandonment by Elena Ferrante, definitely. Awesome. Awesome, look out, but I'll look out for that one. So with the popularity of streaming services like Netflix, uh, what do you think the future of cinema is? I don't think cinema will ever die. Mm. Like, because, no, you know, in like a similar way to theatre, people will always want that experience. They will always want to leave their homes and, and just get away like from their lives and step into a cinema with the lights down and sit there and whether you're on your own or with a friend and and it's a truly unique experience to have that and it's a live experience well like more live like with like theatre but cinema I don't think that will ever die and I just think right now you know Netflix and Amazon are reaping the rewards because their shows are brilliant and what they put out is brilliant and it's keeping us going through this past year. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it will ever, you know, like I don't think it's the end for cinema at all. Yeah, neither do I. Because yeah. people are always going to want to tell stories mm. like on film. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I mean, the, I haven't stepped into a cinema since last March uh, when I saw um, when I saw Mulan. That was the last thing I saw. Oh, um, really? Cinema. Yeah, we we went to the premiere. They cancelled the premiere side of it where you did you did interviews, um, but they kept the screening going on. So um, yeah, that's. And how many going. times would you go to the cinema each week or each month? Uh, a couple of times a week, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So have you missed it? I have. Yeah, I want to go back. I want to go back. Yeah. When, it, when it's safer to do so, I'll, I'll, I'm looking forward to going back. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah. It's such a huge part of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both, per, both professionally and personally. So. 
yeah, yeah. it's um yeah it's uh, just great so um what are you hoping audience will take away from i'm not in love uh, when they get a chance to see it i think they will be able to see themselves like at times because there is there's such an array of uh, couples and relationships within the film and I think you will be able to relate to one of the couples or one of the characters and sometimes it's quite uncomfortable viewing as well because I think that you will watch it and if you're watching it like with your partner like it's a case of is that what we do or like you know because it is so you know like at times it's just like no that is what we do like you know like the bit um like there's a bit like in it uh where one of rob's friends is talking about how him and his partner haven't had sex for like two years or something and then there's this whole thing about the brother sister relationship that a lot of couples uh, fall into mm. i've never seen that um like said on like screen before and i think it's something that a lot of couples will go we're basically brother and sister you know um and and plus also like you know rob is such a great character because he's so confused and he can't see what's in front of him but he's not a bad guy mm. so you want him to succeed and you're following him and you're rooting for him, but you're also, uh, you know, but like then there's sort of Lena, who is my character, who just says to him what I think the audience like wish they could um, say to him, like, which is just sort it out. And because he's not a bad guy, you kind of feel for him as well. There's a vulnerability there. Um, I think it's brilliantly funny and really nuanced um, and really truthful. So I think people should watch it and I think they'll love it. Awesome, absolutely. Um, and just before I let you go, um, where can people find you on social media to keep up with you? Oh, Instagram, I'm on Instagram, uh, but I'm not on Twitter. Okay. So yes, uh, so I'm on Instagram and it's Nady Matthews. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, well, thank you so much for taking time to speak to me today. Uh, it's been Thanks, lovely. Um, I congratulate you for the film and I look forward to whatever you do next. Oh, okay, brilliant. Thank you, Mark. Thanks very much. Take care. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more content next time. She was an incredibly important part of my life. Sometimes it takes guys a while to realise that they really love someone. the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com.
Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more. 